and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps and you have jumped right into the end of my villainous collection inspired by Disney villains. Today's villain is one that does not get enough attention but he is so perfect. Prince John from Robin Hood. He's He's hilarious. He's hilarious. He's just so funny. Like everything that comes out of his mouth is funny. He sucks his thumb. I mean, how could you not love a Disney villain that sucks his thumb in his free time? I am filming this outro after I have made the soap and just as a forewarning, I don't love the final soap design. I'm definitely going to be changing it. It's not my favorite. It needs some work. But as many of you know, I always show you guys the first time I make the soap. So we make a lot of the soaps again after I make a video and then sometimes it gets updates along the way. Often it doesn't, but this time it's going to. I realize I have hyped this thing a lot. So let's just go ahead and make the soap and you'll see why it needs a little bit of tweaking. And we're live. Oh my gosh. Ooh, she's in a feisty mood tonight, folks. I never know if my mood gets translated into the videos. Like if y'all can tell that I'm having a weird night or if that's something that's just mental and it's like up in my face and so I'm very conscious of it but you can't tell the difference I don't know and honestly it makes me wonder if that's a thing for everyone a lot of the time like if you've had a bad day and you're like man I'm just a grouch today, but nobody can tell because you're really just grouching up in your mind. You're not actually doing anything grouchy towards anyone else. Anyway, let's blend. <laughs> Well, this looks yummy. Time to split this off into five equal portions. So I was talking to Caleb about what kind of a YouTuber I am because somebody was talking about me in one of their videos recently. I, I crave your indulgences. I do not remember who it was, but they were like, she's this really quirky, weird lady from Texas. And I don't know why, it just made me start thinking. And I told Caleb, I've never really thought of myself as a quirky, weird YouTuber. Like I would call myself maybe like energetic, family friendly, like <laughs> I don't know. But whenever I think of the words quirky and weird, I, I am not necessarily what comes to mind. Some of the YouTubers I get compared to are Graveyard Girl, which I would argue is a quirky person. I don't know if it's both, <laughs> we're both from Texas and people hear the twang that I have tried quite hard to remove from my vocabulary and because of where I live I feel it comes out more now than I did before. I also don't watch nearly as much British television nor do I read as many British novels and so if you watch some of my older videos I talk with a teeny tiny like just hint of a British accent and that is not because I'm trying to it's just because I chameleon that's what Caleb calls it he says I chameleon to whoever I am near to make them more comfortable anyway now I'm way off topic but some of the people I get compared to are Sophia Nygaard, uh, Christine from Simply Neological, and Graveyard Girl. Those are the top three. I feel like Graveyard Girl is definitely eccentric and quirky. I feel like that's part of her brand. But I feel like Christine and Sophia aren't that strange. Like, I don't know, is that because I'm weird? <laughs> First color is blue. We're using ultramarine blue with blue vibrance from Nurture Soap. Obviously, nothing's wrong with being called eccentric or weird. Those are all relative terms anyway. I remember I was called a weirdo in high school. Everyone thought I was different and not necessarily in a good way. <laughs> this next one is purple vibrance from Nurture Soap. There was a group of Instagrammers and bloggers that I really, really admired for the longest amounts of time. They're all kind of from the same place in America. 
They all have this like peachy travel girl aesthetic. And I really liked that whole look. I tried to be more like that at one point in my life because I really admired all the business deals they were getting. But uh, these girls, and this is not bad or anything, it's just not me, were never really like funny. That was never something that they tried to be. They never really cracked jokes or anything in their Instagram posts. They never really were, you know, making jokes with their family and their vlogs. Like that wasn't a thing. They were mainly focusing on aesthetics. That was kind of their thing. And again, nothing wrong with that. But I found very quickly that I just couldn't fit into that mold. I, I was just, for lack of a better word, too weird. <laughs> I'm still grateful that those types of Instagram feeds and those type of people on the internet exist because they give us so much inspiration for our wardrobes and our homes. And I think this was probably a lesson on it takes all types of people to make the world a lovely, fun place to be. By the way, this is trial by fire right here. And this is a mixture of two golds. One of them is King Tut from Mad Micah's. The other one is 24 karat gold and this right here is green vibrance. So I'm gonna move the gold off to the side because this we're using on the top and I'm gonna blend the fragrance oil into these four containers and we're gonna drop swirl them into our mold. Okay, fragrance oil is in and let's blend. <laughs> Now, I know this green is a little dark, but believe me when I say it will look a little more friendly tomorrow. These look really good, so let's pour them into our large slab mold after this quick commercial break. All right, so I'm going to begin with some red. This is a lovely consistency of soap batter. I'm going to go ahead and cover the entire bottom of this soap. I'm probably only going to do three passes or so. Go in the, with this purple. I feel Prince John would be pleased with the colors of these jewels. I don't know what that little chat at the beginning was all about. I'm not sure what the point was. There's probably a couple different conclusions you could draw. One of which is there's really no such thing as normal. It's a very relative term. What one person thinks is weird and totally creeps them out may be somebody else's like everyday life. Also, don't try to be someone you're not. Don't try to put yourself in a box. Also, it's okay to not be a very aesthetic person. It's okay to not want to wear makeup all the time or buy fancy Gucci clothes or all that kind of stuff. It's also okay to do those things, but I feel like the vast majority of us don't live in LA aren't a size double zero and don't necessarily want to be, but there's a lot of pressure to be those things, at least from the internet. I hope amongst your peers and amongst your friends, you get to be who you are. You get to live where you live and that's cool. I feel like certain places in America are very underrepresented for all of the beauty and the cool history facts and beautiful, beautiful locations you can take photos in. Our culture in America focuses a lot on LA and New York. Those are kind of the two big ones. But what about you people in Missouri? What about you people in Wisconsin? How about people in Montana? I mean, for goodness sake, I live in Terrell, Texas, which our big claim to fame is Jamie Foxx. <laughs> comes from Terrell. That, that's our big claim there. But, you know, I love my little town. I love that all the people are kind to each other on the roads. I love that old men in trucks wave to me when I drive down the road and they don't even know who I am. I love all the people at my local Tex-Mex restaurant, shout out Los Hermanos, and that they love their customers and that they love my parents and always treat us like family when we go there. There's just so much to love, I guess, about our own personal lives, and I feel like some of that can go missing if you're 
focused on what other people have and what Instagram would have you believe is the ideal life and the ideal place. There's no ideal life, there's no ideal place. You can be happy and content no matter where you live, what clothes you wear, how much money you have, what size you are, etc. I told y'all I was in a weird mood. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Now this is pretty darn flat. I don't think I have to worry much about it. Look at this gold, you guys. Whoa, it actually sparkles. A lot of colors in soap lose their sparkle, but this one is still sparkly even though it's raw soap batter, so it will probably look even better after it has sat for a little while and cured. Now let's talk a little bit about Prince John. First of all, I wanted to be sure that I did some underrated Disney villains, some of the ones that probably weren't the first ones to come to mind. Maybe next time I'll do Ursula, but I just felt like Ursula's colors were really close to Maleficent, and Maleficent to me is way scarier. This looks stunning. Let's add some more gold. I am going to swirl this gold in just a little bit with the edge of this glass swirling stick. I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of sparkle sunshine down the sides of the soap because the middle is going to have a jewel in it. Time to put the grid down. And with the carefulest fingers, I will lay down some jewels. Anyway, I think Prince John is a hilarious villain. Like, what's he gonna do with all that gold? It's so much. Also, any of the gold that I get on the embeds, not worried about because it's gonna rinse right off. I am turning this to the side because I feel I may make more accurate placement if I do. Now these stones I tried to exactly mimic from the scene where Robin Hood and Little John dress up as fortune tellers and raid Prince John's carriage. He puts out his hands and lets them kiss the royal fingers and you see these big beautiful bodacious gems. Every kid in the whole world thinks those suckers look like ring pops. Some of these daintier jewels are my favorite. Okay guys, we're getting close to the finish line here. This has taken so long. I'm ashamed to say how long this has taken me. Probably close to, oh wow, I'm looking at my uh, camera right now and it says 30 minutes. I thought for sure I had been spending like 45 minutes on the stones alone, but Apparently, time flies when you're placing stones on a soap. Last one. Teeny tiny. And we're done. This is one of the soaps that will look so much better when spritzed with rubbing alcohol because all those gems get clear and glossy and super shiny. This really does look like a crown or some royal piece of jewelry. Oh yes, do you see the clear jewels? I'm holding this at a funny angle so you could see the clarity and all of those little embeds on top. They're so stunning. So I will be back in 18 to 24 hours to split this slab into loaves and cut the loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. All right, guys, time to cut Prince John. Now, I already know I placed some of these stones incorrectly, so some of them are going to be chopped, but in the future, I know they will, wait, hold on, are they not getting chopped? <gasps> not a single one? Miracle! All right, let's take a peek 
at the inside. Whoa dang, look at that swirl. Not gonna lie to you, not a huge fan of that green. That green has to go. However, I do really like the stones on top. I think I should add even more glitter to the tops of these bars. Maybe even put a glitter mica line right here to separate them. I also might lighten this gold a little bit, but the concept is definitely there. The smell, so good. This is just one of those designs that needs a little bit of refining. Man, I love all the little embeds on top though. Every time we put jewels on top, I get excited because they look so delightful every time. So now you see why it needs a little bit of tweaking. <laughs> It's the green. I'm pretty convinced it's the green. It's just not flowing well. I think the gold looks really good. Super, super pleased with the gems on top. Nothing else really needs to go. It's just the green for me. The green just doesn't fit. I think we're gonna add blue and we'll be good to go. Oh, so it smells so good, oh my gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. If this was just you passing through and you know, YouTube recommended this video to you and you're like, why the heck am I here? I understand. Thank Thanks for staying for even one video. <laughs> I know, soap making's weird. Why do people watch it? We don't know. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like hoarding all of your brother's money and spending it foolishly. Or perhaps kissing the gems off of a king's hand and stealing them for the poor. It's your life, do what you want. <laughs> I don't care what you do, just be sure you do something fun for yourself today. That is the main point. Take a little bath, go on a little walk, collect some leaves, whatever floats your boat. And I will be back soon with the final installment of this month's collection. Forewarning, this was the final soap for the Villainous collection, but I still have a soap for our October babies. It is another Opalite soap based on your recommendation, so it ought to be really fun, and I'll see you guys then. So until then, bye for now! Yeah.